Were you not the pretty one growing up? No. Oh, God, no. What? No. Mm -mm. That is news to me. Ugly duckling. Meghan Markle is getting honest about feeling like an ugly duckling while growing up. In the latest episode of her new podcast, Archetypes, the Duchess of Sussex sits down with Mindy Kaling and opens up about some of the hardships of her childhood. Look, maybe not conventional beauty as it now, maybe that would be seen as beautiful by massive frizzy curly hair and a huge gap in my teeth that um, I was a smart one forever and ever and ever and ever and, and then just sort of grew up. The 41-year-old chatted with The Office star during the episode about the joys, challenges, and stigmas of Mindy's life as a single woman and mom. As the ladies exchanged childhood anecdotes, Megan also shared a story that stuck with her after she got engaged to her husband, Prince Harry. When I started dating my husband, we became engaged, and everyone was just like, oh my God, you're so lucky he chose you. And at a certain point after you hear it a million times over, you're like, well, I chose him too. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, I have a partner who was countering that narrative for me and going, they've got it all wrong. I'm the lucky one because you chose me. But it's, it is gendered and it's archetyped and it's stereotyped that you're so lucky. And it just feeds into this idea that you're waiting for someone to tell you that you're good enough, mm -hmm. as opposed to knowing that you're good enough on your own. The podcast episode dropped just hours after Megan stepped out with Harry in Germany for an Invictus Games event. The pair are also set to appear on Thursday at the Wellchild Awards. Access Hollywood recently spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about the recent reviews Archetypes has been receiving. The reaction to Megan's two podcast episode have it's been, again, very varied. I think there are a lot of people listening in out of pure fascination. Because even though there is boredom beginning to emerge over this continued anti-royal narrative, there's also continued fascination with just how this whole thing is going to pan out. And I think people are waiting for Megan to offer up some kind of new information, whether that be a resolution, a kind of, you know, peace meeting with members of the royal family. I don't know what that will be, but I think that the interest and the intrigue is still there. And that's partly why her podcast immediately shot to the top of the Spotify charts, even beating Joe Rogan. However, there has been some incredibly harsh criticism of the podcast. A lot of people have pointed out that given that the podcast is meant to highlight other women, Megan spends a large amount of time talking about her own experiences and her own life, which seems to be slightly ironic given that the entire premise of the series is to kind of interview other great women who have done amazing things. Now, that's not to deny that she hasn't managed to land some very big names. In two episodes, we've had Serena Williams and we've had Mariah Carey. So I don't think there's any doubt about Meghan's ability to draw in some star power. The main criticism is just that a lot of people wish she would spend more time focusing on the other stars rather than on herself. 